got some a variety of ways of modulating our stress levels and our uh, and that affects our immune system and our sleep. There are two main ones on um, the two parts of the brain. There's the 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 nervous system, which the, the one that's the most important is the sympathetic nervous system, which is the okay. fight or flight one. Uh, that's going to be releasing uh, a variety of chemicals, including uh, one called ACTH, that will signal to your pituitary or uh, and that'll release um, corticosteroids that are like cortisol, which are particularly bad for long-term stress and, and pro-aging for the organs. And so we really, we don't want to be in this, this sympathetic state. So breathing and uh, meditation um, and good sleep is what dampens that down and gets us out of that, that edgy state that a lot of us feel during the day. Um, and really, it, that, that's the goal for longevity is to be able to be calm and not not be jumpy. Um, and there are lots of ways of doing that. And breathing, actually, breath work is the fastest way to do that. Uh, it turns out that you can actually uh, greatly affect the activity of this nervous system um, just by the rate that you breathe and also whether you're inhaling or exhaling. If you inhale, it actually, it heightens your awareness. You, there's a study that shows that people when they see faces, tend to see them as scary faces than when they're breathing out slowly. So breathing out is actually really, really relaxing. Doing that rhythmically helps calm down that, that part of your brain. Just sits at the back here behind uh, where you might have the joint of your, uh, uh, your skull to your, to your spine. The other part of the brain that's important is called the motor cortex. And it signals with molecules that can activate tissue such as muscle that put out uh, various chemicals that uh, recruit immune cells. And uh, there was a beautiful study that came out last year that caught my attention. But this paper that came out in uh, the journal Nature uh, showed that in animals, you tweak uh, both those separate systems, the, the motor cortex, which is up here, and then the SCN, uh, which is back here, your, the controlled pituitary. If you tweak those neurons artificially, and make the animals feel scared and stressed out, it does affect your immune system or it affects their immune system. And leukocytes come out and, uh, and then they recruit to the bone marrow and they behave differently. I measure cortisol levels as an indicator of our overall state of chronic stress or even overexercise can lead to high cortisol levels. And that's one of the things that we measure um, as predictors of future longevity. But you can bring that down. Uh, it's been shown in many studies with meditation breathing yes. exercises and uh, getting enough sleep.